Hello, Yvette. How are you? Oh my goodness. Hi. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I see why people say they'd be nervous because this seems so like you're like a television person, and now I'm more here with you. Hey. So I'm the senior. I um I'm like the last thing you mentioned about being happy. Um in a great relationship and looking for the for something to go wrong because I've been in bad so many bad relationships. But I just want to say I'm a newlywed and um oh, three congratulations. Thank you. My Wait, whole how life. old are you, Miss Yvette? How old I'm are you? 62, 62. Hold on, Miss Yvette. Hold on. I want you to tell all the young girls on here who are, oh, I'm not gonna find my person. What if he never comes? And you are newlywed. Tell them. Tell them you can find your your person. I had given up. Honest to goodness, after the age of fifty five, I decided I gave myself a birthday party and retired early. And I had given up on having that man in my life because I was the pick Misha. I was the one who went after the guy, and I didn't have trouble getting them. I just had trouble keeping them because when they saw the desperation in me to say, "Oh, stay." I, I want to get married. And I was in an eight year relationship mm -hmm. um, just before I met my husband. And his main thing was, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married. So it's like, okay, I came to accept it. And when he left me, because I put up some standards and boundaries and I started growing, I got weight loss surgery. I lost a ton of weight. I started going to the gym, doing my life all over again. Right. Mm -hmm. So what's the point of me calling? I want to give hope to the young girls because, like I said, I had given up on. I went on Match.com and I met this guy who I didn't go for looks. He's a little SpongeBob. He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> he is the most precious person in the world. I What's did a, not what? What's a That's little right. SpongeBob? What's a little SpongeBob? Yeah. What's that mean? What's that mean? Tell us. body and just always energy and always getting into things but he's an alpha male because he goes to church he owns his home he, he's a widow so his wife passed back in 2014 and so i just want to give the girls some hope because when you think that it's over i thought the ship has sailed and then this guy i was just dating i was just out there dating on match.com my son was my uber driver and um you I know my mm -hmm. adult son was my Uber driver and he, I drive Uber, but he would take my car and drive me there, pick me up, stick around, hang around. And this guy, he was different and he swept me off my feet and I didn't have to do any chasing. I didn't have to manipulate. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to twist his arm. Mm -hmm. I just sat back and said, I'm just in this for the friendship. And he had other plans. He, he just felt like, Oh, I'd rather be with you than be without you. And I, my whole life has changed. I feel like I've been adopted. I've been born in this beautiful neighborhood, in this beautiful home, um, changing jobs. Um, my finances are a little ranky because my car needs repairs. But I guess I don't have a problem problem. But, um, I, my, but the only thing I can say about my new husband is he's a foodie. He loves to eat. And with my weight loss surgery, I can't eat like he do. And I get mm -hmm. sick when I take a sugar. Oh, it goes right through me. So mm -hmm. I just want advice on, like he said, tomorrow morning, we're going to get out there and go for a walk. But yes. we curl up in that bed and don't nothing happen. Right. We always saying that. <laughs> so uh, I, do, I need help. <laughs> how about you guys? You know, maybe you guys make days of it. Like Saturdays, y'all go for walks. You know, on Mondays, y'all could do meatless Mondays, you know. On the weekends, you could try new, maybe vegan restaurants. That's a great idea to switch up the meals, okay? Maybe also do, I don't know if they have walkathons. See if they have a walkathon coming up. That would be a great first step. Or even going to the gym twice a week together, just the we treadmill. About it. We talk about it all the time. We just don't actually do it or if we do it we don't stick with it, you know 
But I know that, I got you. I got what you're saying. That's Travis. what I'm saying. At least twice out of the week. I, that feels a little bit more realistic. If I say, you know what, Monday, everyone gets up on a Monday and feels like, okay, it's time to get my life together. So on a Monday, it may be like a Wednesday or a Thursday. How about that? Or even get a treadmill for the house. How about that? We have one downstairs, but my lazy butt, when I get in this chair, it's over. So I have to do it when I first start my day or when I first come in the house. Now, Miss Yvette, y'all have a treadmill in the house. In the basement. Y'all could, come on, y'all could do in a little basement. workout. Y'all could do a little okay. workout together. Okay. Pull it out from the basement, bring it upstairs, dust it off, put on, you know, this live or a nice show, one of your favorite shows on Netflix or TV. And then he goes first and you go second on the treadmill and put on a cute workout outfit. So you're motivated. Okay. Okay. Get something nice and pink. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're beautiful. I mean, the face, head full of hair, all your teeth. Okay. Come on, 62. I see the nails are done. Okay. And I see that tattoo on the chest. You a little spicy. Missy Vet. Okay. She, okay. See, I know she got a little spice. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. I'm a man, okay? Yeah. I don't know about y'all young ones, but I need to be a piece, okay? I even get that. My hair needs to be done, and I've been out in that rain all day. I'm trying to get a job. I mean, another job. And mm -hmm. so I'm just like, just want the young girls to know that it's never too late. He's 68. I'm 62. We had a beautiful wedding. It was all of our grandchildren. Where the matron of honors, my son walked me down the aisle. It was all grandkids and grandkids. And that's how it was. And, and it was just a beautiful wedding. So do not give up hope. Just because it ain't happening now, I'm 60. Not that it's going to happen to y'all in 60 years, but I'm just saying this is how it happened for me. I've been married before, but this one is special. Oh, is this is the love of your life. Seniors. Yes, he is a sweet guy. Oh, my gosh. He is amazing. He is just. <sighs> and let me also ask you for all the ladies and the young ladies in the chat. How did you know he was the one? What were some signs? Give us three. Three signs okay. where you knew he was the one. His profile was the first thing that stood out for me. Because he was an everyday average guy enjoying his grandkids, showing what he normally do. And he had a face. I'm, I kid you not. His profile picture was like this. <laughs> it was close up and I said he has no filters he ain't concerned about people wondering how he looked he's not a bad looking guy but he he just was so authentic like nothing to hide and when he met me he embraced me and just you know profiles and talking and stuff so that's one thing the second thing is like you said the nerd don't go because I had the cute handsome six feet tall dude that was in the mirror more than me and he was the prize i had that and every time i did something he became jealous so you don't want cute handsome casanova you don't want that you want the average looking guy and look at his habits and his routine and can he provide and does he treat you right that's the key and then the third thing stability i feel safe and secure and stable that part safe safe because i've been domestic abuse big time almost took my life what? yeah yeah someone almost what? took my life yeah because i said something out my mouth that i called them something out my mouth that i took back and regretted and then some mm -hmm. people can't handle you can't push men to the limit you don't even know how they're gonna snap so wow. yeah yeah so okay. that's why I said I'm in the perfect relationship and I'm looking for something to go wrong, but nothing wrong. I mean, he gets upset about things, but it's never, I never feel threatened like I did before. Mm -hmm. So I ain't going to take up everybody's time. I just wanted to hop on. You kept saying, come on alive. Yes, yes. I wanted more people. Thank you for coming up and sharing your story, Miss, Miss Yvette. I think a lot of women needed to hear that younger or older, you know. So I appreciate you sharing your wisdom. And just like I told the last young lady, enjoy it. Have fun. You know, we only get one life. Enjoy your relationship. Eat the ice cream, but also get on the treadmill. Do both. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye, Miss Yvette. <laughs> safe, feeling safe. When a woman feels safe in a relationship, she's truly at peace. She's truly at peace. That's what you really want more than anything else is feeling safe and peace of mind in your relationship. Okay, those two. When you have peace of mind, you're not, where is he at? What is he doing? You're on a couch. Okay, he'll call me back. You want those two things when you're in a relationship. Okay, at 